I'm personally a Holocaust survivor as an infant. Um, I barely survived. My, my, my grandparents were killed in Auschwitz and uh, most of my extended family was killed. I became a Zionist. This dream of the Jewish people resurrected in their historical homeland and the barbed wire of Auschwitz being replaced by the boundaries of a, of a Jewish state with a powerful army. And then I found out that it wasn't exactly like that. That in order to make this Jewish dream a reality, we had to visit a nightmare on the local population. And there's no way you could have ever created a, a Jewish state without uh, oppressing and ex expelling the local population. Jewish Israeli historians have shown without a doubt that the expulsion of the Palestinians was persistent, it was pervasive, it was cruel, it was murderous, and with deliberate attempt. So that's what's called the Nakba in Arabic, the disaster or the catastrophe. There's a law that you cannot deny the Holocaust. But in Israel, you're not allowed to mention the Nakba, even though it was at the very basis of the foundation of the state. I visited the occupied territories, Russell, during the first Intifada. I cried every day for two weeks at what I saw. The brutality of the occupation, the petty harassment, the murderousness of it, or cutting down of Palestinian olive groves, the denial of water rights, the humiliations. And this went on, and it's much worse now than it was then. It's the, long, it's the longest ethnic cleansing operation in the 20th and 21st centuries. I could land in Tel Aviv tomorrow and demand citizenship under the right law of the right of return. But my Palestinian friend in Vancouver, Hannah Kawas, who was born in Jerusalem, can't even visit. Now, if I have the right to return after 2000 years, how come Hannah hasn't got the right to return after 70 years? So then you have these miserable people packed into this horrible, people call it the world's largest outdoor prison, which is what it is. You don't have to support Hamas policies to stand up for Palestinian rights. That's a complete falsity. If you take the worst thing you can say about Hamas, multiply it by a thousand times, and it still will not meet the Israeli repression and killing and dispossession of Palestinians. Anybody who criticizes Israel is an anti-Semite is simply an egregious attempt to intimidate good non-Jews who are willing to stand up for what is true. If you look at the Western press, when Hong Kong demonstrators throw stones at the police in Hong Kong, that's considered to be heroism. When in Myanmar, the demonstrators throw th slingshots at the army, at the oppressive army, they're considered to be heroes in the Western press. When Palestinian kids throw stones at the Israeli soldiers, they're called terrorists. And uh, Israel gets away with a lot more without much less criticism in the Western press than any other country. He runs a program for Palestinian children who spend time in Israeli jails. 14, 15, 16 year olds are jailed for months or years. Sometimes they can't see their families for months. If she says, we don't have post-traumatic stress disorder here because the trauma is never post. The trauma is daily, she said. If he's got any ounce of humanity left, he would cry like I did for two weeks when I was there. Anybody can go on YouTube and listen to Ilan Pape, an Israeli historian. Anybody can listen to Norman Finkelstein, a Jewish professor, world expert on Gaza, who was denied ten tenure at his university because of his public speaking against Israeli policy. You can listen to any number of in, uh, Israeli Defense Forces soldiers who talk about the brutality that they now regret having committed. You can listen to Israeli pilots who talk about why they refuse to fly over Gaza because of the atrocities they're made to commit. You can get all the information you want. So if anybody these days doesn't know, it's not because the information is not available. And none of that excuses not knowing truth and, and this deliberate uh, attempt to silence anybody who speaks.
Jewish or non-Jewish. And I really wish that, that, that non-Jews of goodwill would, would stand up against the calumny and not be intimidated by this charge of anti-Semitism. I really wish that. It's not a question of being pro-Palestinian. It's a question of are you, to, are you in favor of justice and, 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 and liberty and, 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 and freedom and, and